you know the story of Joseph is very peculiar because Joseph when he was a little boy he got this nice garment from his dad it was a, co a coat of many colors and he this coat symbolized that Joseph was the favorite Joseph it's like getting a car on your you know 16th birthday brand new and the rest of your siblings are driving a bicycle that's kind of what it was it was an insult to the rest of the kids and and this kid he got a coat and the bible says when he got the coat he started to get dreams and in his dreams he saw everybody bowing to him it's kind of hard to dream bad dreams when you got nice coat when you have people speaking over your life and saying you're awesome you're beautiful you're handsome you're strong you're gonna make it people like that tend to have dreams not nightmares dreams not fears and Joseph gets this beautiful coat and one day his brothers they ripped that coat from him and they dip it in blood and then Joseph goes into Potiphar's home and they give him another coat it was a coat of a slave and we know Potiphar's wife she didn't waste any time she ripped that coat from Joseph as well Joseph goes into the prison where he is now a prisoner he is a coat of a prisoner and the moment Pharaoh had a dream the Bible says when they called Joseph into the Pharaoh's court they ripped that clothes from him as well and then we see last time when Pharaoh puts a clothes of a prime minister on Joseph that's a lot of changing of clothes four changes of clothes it's very interesting because in every season when his clothes changed, the Bible used this word and the Lord was with Joseph. In a dry pit and the Lord was with Joseph. When Joseph is in jail and the Lord was with Joseph. When Joseph is a servant, he has a death certificate laying in the house and the Lord was with Joseph. When Joseph was a prime minister and the Lord was with Joseph. Your seasons will change. God will never change. God will never leave you and God will never abandon you. God will never forsake you. Can somebody say amen? And that's why I want to challenge every person tonight. Do not become attached to your season your season may be today a season of being on the top of the mountain don't think God loves you more because you're happy your season may be today in the low valley don't think God left you because you can sense him or feel him or see him no more and the Lord was with Joseph God's character God's will it never changes it stays permanent that's what makes him God that's why he's trustworthy that's why he beckons faith in him because he is unmovable unshakable but his clock is always ticking that means that your your situation today tomorrow it could be completely different that means that your problem today in the next five minutes that could be completely shifted that means that whatever you are in today in the next minute God can completely shift the situation around God's clock is on the move because God stands still can somebody say man have your faith anchored in God's character and always know because God is immovable my situation is gonna move joblessness is gonna move the fact that you're single ready to mingle and you can't find nobody that could move the fact that maybe your children are not serving God and they completely have nothing to do with God listen that is able to move why because God does not move hallelujah God's clock can move